Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smiley. I hope you're having a great week. And today we're going to look at a couple Royo books. Do you remember your Royo books from the classroom? You had a whole bunch of them in your book baskets. And Royo stands for Read on Your Own. So I'm going to read these books with you and I'm going to try to hold them up close so you can see the um, words in the pictures. And hopefully you can read with me. And if you like these stories, you can play this video over and over again, and you can practice reading a couple stories. The first one I'm going to read is called Max and Quinn. The Q, Q, Q and you. Remember, Q, he doesn't like to go anywhere without his best buddy, you. So you always see Q and you together. You is okay going off by his own, but not Q. So Max and Quinn is our first story we're going to read. And the second one I want to read to you is called Zig Zag. This is a I think you'll enjoy. Um, and remember, illustrations, those are the pictures. So I want to get you nice and close here so you can see Max and Quinn. And you guys know the author is by Lara Josefa Kratke. Very good. So let's put our listening ears on and our looking eyes because I want you to try to read these books with me. Okay, here we go. There's our title page. Once again, Max and Quinn by Lada Josefa Kratke. And this gives us maybe a clue for the story. Ready, here we go. I am little Max. I like to look good. Here I am in my little tux. Now, if you don't know what a tux is, it's a fancy suit. Ready? I like to play my little sack. Here I go. Now, if you don't know what a sax is, that's just short for saxophone, and that's a musical instrument. Oh, look at this picture. Page two, page five, sorry. I am Big Win. we go. I like to play on my big tub. Little Max, come and play with me. We can play for a little bit. It. We can play Oh, here. This is a lot of fun. I do not want to quit. Quit. Ready? They like us. Do you want to quit? No, we can play and play. This is a good job. Our words were little and play, and our letters were Q and X in that story. Max and Quinn. I hope you enjoyed reading that. Make sure you read it again, too, okay? Have fun with Max and Quinn. Story. Zig Zag. Z -ig -z -ag by Lada Josefa Cracky. You guys know that author, don't you? There's our title page. Zigzag by Lada Josefa Cracky. If you don't know what a zigzag is, it's back and forth lines. Like right here, see the zigzag pattern? Pattern repeats. You're going to like this picture. Okay, look at that illustration. Can you see some zigzags? 
Maybe even in the zebra. Maybe in the trees. The river. Okay, here we go. Ready? Read these words with me. This story is called Zig Zag. Do you want to see zigs and zags? It's a question. Look for some. We see them in the sand dunes and on the sidewalk, the river. We saw a lot of them. Look at this illustration. Do you see any zigzags in this picture? I do too. Sorry about that. Here is a pot. Sorry. Here is a pot. Pot. Look at the zigs and zags on the pot. Very good. Sorry about my doggy. Here we go. Now look for this. Look at this picture. Do you see the zigzag patterns on all the purses? Here we go. Mom wants a zigzag bag. Bag. Do you see a bag with a zig and a zag, you can look for it here. I hope you're reading with me. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? She's weaving that. Look at her dress. Here are some zigs and zags on a rock. Ugh. What's that word? R Ugh. Rug. I like it. Do you see the question mark? I think she looks like Sophia a little bit, don't you? Sophia Montanato. Okay, here we go. Oh, we read that page. Oh, what did you see? This one. Look at the basket. Do you see the zigzags on there? Look here. Do you see the zig and zag in this m at? What's that word? M at. Mat. So let's read it again. Look here. Do you see the zig and zag in this mat? Look at this one. This is bright. We can see this one. Ready? Read with me. I want to hear you. Make sure mommy and daddy can hear you read. Can see some zigs and zags here. Do you see the red, red zigzag? Do you see the red zigzags in the brick? Oh, I love this one. It's the back of this little girl's hair. You see the part in her hair? It's got a zigzag in it. Pretty cool. Here we go. Let's read. Look at me. I have a zigzag. Do you see it? We saw it, didn't we? And our words in this story were want and some. And of course, our letter was Z for zigzag. You want to try to draw your own zigzag pattern. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you play these stories um, again and again and practice reading your royal books. This one was called Zig Zag. And our first, first story was called Max and Quinn. Have a good time reading today. I enjoyed reading with you.